Moving on to the NFL. It's time for the NFL predictions. All 16 games or whatever. <laughs> First up, Bills taking on the Packers. I'm taking Aaron Rodgers and the Packers. It's hard to pick against the Pack, especially at Lambeau. Now, I said the Patriots aren't in trouble not to worry about it, but they are playing the Dolphins, and the Dolphins are undefeated. They go to 4-0. I think the Dolphins take a commanding lead in the NFC East. They beat the Patriots. Both teams trying to rebound from a loss here. Bengals taking on the Falcons. Andy Dalton versus Matt Ryan. A.J. Green versus Julio Jones. A lot of points, much like last week. I'm starting Matt Ryan again. The one week I don't start him, he puts up 40 points. I've learned my lesson. Falcons win. Eagles taking on the Titans. I don't buy the Titans being a good team at all. I still am very high on the Eagles. I think the Eagles are one of the best teams in the NFC. They beat the Titans. Seahawks against Cardinals. Oh, goodness, you talk about. A boring NFC West matchup. I'm taking the Seahawks in that one. Barely. It's going to be like a 12-9 to or 15-12 to type game. A lot of field goals. They, both teams struggle offensively. 49ers against the Chargers. Now, if Jimmy G wasn't hurt, I would have taken the Niners. I like the Niners with Jimmy Garoppolo, but he's hurt. He's going to be out all season, so I'm taking the Chargers. Texans against Colts. I think Andrew Luck steers the ship with the Colts. I, I, I think the Colts are going to come around. I, something tells me that I can't bet against Andrew Luck in Indianapolis. Taking them in this one. Bucks taking on the Bears. Bears are looking really good, uh, you know, 2-1 and one after their opening loss to the Packers. Khalil Mack is showing he is worth every bit of money that you have. Good job, John Gruden. Uh... I like Tampa Bay's chances. I think Fitzpatrick starts this game. I don't know if he's going to be the quarterback the whole game, but I think he starts the game, and I think the Bucks squeak by the Bears. Very close one. Lions taking on the Cowboys. I like the Lions in this one. I think the Cowboys need to figure out what they want to do offensively and figure out, hey, Dak, do you want to throw the football more than nine yards? That would be great. Jets taking on the Jags. I got the Jags, man. Riding that Jaguar bandwagon. Browns versus the Raiders. So the 1-1-1 one, one, one Browns taking on the 0-3 Raiders. I like the Raiders in this one. They get their first win. Saints taking on the Giants. Again, potential for a lot of points. I don't buy the Saints defense. I've never bought the Saints defense. It's all about Drew Brees and that offense. And I think Drew Brees out plays... Eli Manning, Saints win that one. Sunday night football, Ravens versus the Steelers. Now, I know the Steelers beat my Buccaneers on Monday night football, but that was not because the Steelers beat the Buccaneers. That's because the Buccaneers gave up the ball four of their last five first half possessions. And it's hard to win a football game when you have that many turnovers. They're, the Ravens, come on now. And on Monday Night Football, it is the AFC West showdown between the Chiefs and the Broncos. Chiefs win huge. Patrick Mahomes, he's going to put up four touchdowns, five touchdowns. He's going to have one of those kind of games. Chiefs are going to crush the Broncos. Broncos have not been good since Super Bowl 50. It's just the, it's just the facts, people. <laughs> 